Have you been wanting to use a bow? Just not quite sure what enchants, accessories, armor, or even what kind of bow you should be making? Well, I got it all covered for you. I'm going to show you where to get the mats, who to kill for the mats, how to put the mats together into the bow, armor, and accessories you've always wanted to have a genuine, useful bow build. And, not to mention, it is the best way to kill a dragon. Let's get to it. We are now going to make the armor for our bow build. We're going to be using the black light armor. With iron ingots, we have dangerous and thief boss enchant on there. Dangerous from a crocodile, thief boss from a level 90 or higher Kevin. Our leather has red eyes purging enchant from the executioner boss on a level 6 or level 7 or higher island. The opportunity for the enchants to appear is dependent on its rarity as well as how often it appears on materials you are using to craft the item. To get your best odds for everything, try and have an even split of the enchants that you are using to make the item that you are looking for. If you save up enough enchant points, you can also opt for a three stack of these with the reinforced being the fourth enchant. If you are having trouble surviving, need a little more defense and health, go Red Eyes, Dangerous, Thief Buff. Will now be a reinforced Dangerous Thief Boss Red Eyes, Iron Armor. Otherwise, you can take your chances and see what happens. Hey, not quite. But that's the goal. You're going to rinse and repeat that until you get the Red Eyes Purging Dangerous Thief Boss. All four enchants stacked on one piece of gear. And that is the joy of master crafting. On to our headpiece. We're going to be using the Ranger's Cap. Using the charge attack with the bow can be useful. I don't find myself doing it too often. But hey, maybe with some more updates or increased damage, that, that can be really useful for getting a crit or a solid headshot. We'll find out. But for the Ranger's Cap, this is going to be a great option. I'm also going to show you a really nice western hat that drops from the lizard gunner that already has a four stack enchant on it. Another viable option would also be the fox mask with the EI slash. Also provides rabbit jump, acrobatic, and double jump. So pretty useful for just maneuverability. Fox mask, ranger's cap, and western hat are all viable options. Or the ranger's cap, you guessed it. We're looking at red eyes purging whatever feather you happen to find laying around so i found this cool fenrir hunter hard feather i'd be happy with any of those enchants appearing uh hard plus four to defense that's useful defense goes a long way honestly let's wing it and see what happens Hey, Hunter Finner's Ranger Cap. So, yeah, rinse and repeat till you got something along the lines of at least Red Eyes Purging on there for the defense and attack percent increase. Good luck. We're now going to look at our accessory options for the bow build. The bracelet is a great opportunity for relative resistance to the color of the biome, as well as offering the Forester passive skill to increase our damage with bows. The Iron Amulet and Iron Ring are also viable options. I'd prefer the Ring for the increased defense is going to be more valuable than the plus 2 to attack and magic attack. For the Iron Ring, your best bet is using a Crimson Dragon Dangerous Thief Boss Iron Ingot with a plain colored glass. Consequently, if you wanted more magic for whatever reason, you could use the glass dropped by the Reaper Boss for an opportunity of Underworld, Ruler of Indigo, or Teal enchants here. On your bracelet, for the heart core of Firebrand, or the heart core of Pathogen, or heart core of Ice Crystal, they are dropped from high level enemies. The heart core of Firebrand is dropped from a high level lizard sword or lizard axe monster. The heart core of Pathogen drops from a high level skeleton lieutenant. 
and the Heartcore Vice Crystal drops from a high level Shaman. The Memory Piece of the 11th, Memory Piece of Wisdom, and Memory Piece of Vampirism all drop from Golems. The Fang we're going to be using will be from the Executioner boss, Red Eyes Purging. Colored Glass will be Plain, and our Steel Ingot is Dangerous Thief boss. Not a bad opportunity. Let's see what happens. Hey, not quite. But y'all know the drill. Rinse and repeat until you got what you want. And uh, we'll see you soon for the actual battle. For your Griffin Wings or your Glider Slot, some options you got. If you're using a glider, you could get some Scorching Stone, mix out with some Fire Demon, Fire Deceased Logs. Fire Demon you can find on a volcano island, any of the burning trees. Fire Deceased Logs you can find in Hell, chopping down a big tree with an axe. And the Scorching Stone you can find in Volcano Area, any stone that you mind. Or if you go to Hell you can find Scorching Hellstone. So some different opportunities for an attack build for you. Combine those and hopefully you'll get a Fire Demon's Fire Deceased Scorching Maybe even Fire Demon, Fire Deceased, Scorching, Scorching Hell lighter. <laughs> For your Griffin Wings, I would do something similar with the logs. You could also use Spring Breeze or Looming, some logs that drop from Fleor. Go find a Royal Tomb to farm your Griffin, farm up 100 wings. First 40 go to this bad boy, the next 60 go to this bad boy. Voila, you got some decent wings. Merchants are also probably a great spot to get your toxic arrows from. Every once in a while you may be able to find a merchant that sells toxin or poison in the vials. Probably sells up to 100 of them and it'll randomly have some interesting enchants. I've gotten werewolf on mine before but it was it was a very rare find. Go to level 4 island you'll probably find several merchants with a hundred stack of toxic arrows that you can buy. They don't have to worry about burning through them. They don't want to be the greatest enchant in the world. It will apply to your stats but like, you're burning through them, so to spend that much time on a good enchant might not be worth your time. Some of these merchants also sell some nice bows, like the Sagittarius bow. Great option, it is an 8 star, which is a star above the killer bow. Killer bow just happens to have better opportunities for enchants at the moment. They can both be refined. The Sagittarius bow, I would take a good one that you find. Use it with a magic stone. Use your enchant point so it's guaranteed. You could potentially have an Axe's War Gods uh, reinforced Sagittarius bow that you could then re refine to, I think, plus 99, maybe Kai 99. So it has some opportunity. It does. It does. Even though it is a bow build, I would still recommend having a shield on your side. Technically, it's enchant points shouldn't apply if you have a bow equal. But the second it unequips, it will apply the relative buffs to your character. So if you happen to be in a stressful situation and your defense ain't quite high enough, you can always swap to a sword and shield build quickly to raise your defense. Make sure you survive a risky scenario, or maybe you're just doing a dual build. Time to make our killer bow. It's going to be brutal, because first we have to make a platinum bow. Which means a lot can go wrong. <laughs> Or a lot can go right. Our platinum bow takes an ingot, log, leather, and bone. Our killer bow is going to take a platinum bow, steel ingot, fang, and bird feather. So what do we want on the finished product? Well, given the materials used, let's ignore the platinum bow for now. The steel ingot we could get, Dangerous Thief Boss would be a good option, maybe even Crimson Dragon steel ingots, maybe even a variant of Crimson Dragon, Dangerous Thief Boss, or all four. For the fang, we can use the Red Eyes Purging, we could use a Dangerous Crocodile fang, we could even try a fang from the Lizard Sword or the Lizard Axe. Lizard Axe might be a good option for the 20% increase to damage crit rate. Uh, but it does diminish your crit chance, whereas Lizard Sword is going to up our crit chance. And give us, I think, 5 or 10 attack, maybe 5%. It's minimal. Bird feathers. You can get some interesting bird feathers from merchants. Various merchants on probably a level 1 all the way through level 4 islands. I've found Fenrir feathers. I've found some rainbow feathers. You'll find some cool stuff. 
You can also get some feathers and some random chests from dungeon to dungeon. The fact that it requires two is a little rough, so it might not be worth farming chests to get that one perfect feather, but hey, it's up to you. So our finished product, what I would like to see on mine, is going to be Red Eyes Purging Dangerous Thief Boss. It's going to fit our build as we're going to be having the same enchants on our armor. This is going to fit really well if we end up using a shield with the bow, and it's also just going to make sure we have plenty of defense so that our toxic arrows do solid damage over time, and we're able to extend the fight of those Crimson Dragon Battles just a little bit. On to the Platinum Bow. Looking at what's available, it only requires two leather and two bones, so I don't have a great chance for the Cruel Devouring Tyrant or the Red Eyes Purging. The Fire Spirit and the Crimson Dragon, the Fire Spirit on the logs, Crimson Dragon on the Platinum Ingots, has a much better opportunity. So to make the Platinum Bow, to make sure I make a really good Killer Bow, I may want to force the enchant of Red Eyes and Purging to make sure I get it the way I want it. See what happens. Dragon Crimson. About what I expected. Now for the killer bow. We have Dangerous Thief Boss Steel Ingot. We have Red Eyes Purging Fang. And we have a very interesting feather that actually has Fenrir's Hunter and Hard all on it. As you can see, a lot can happen here. Not necessarily the best place to use your enchant point, so what I would recommend is getting a bird feather that doesn't have any enchants on it. Or, if you like a little bit of mystery here and there, you can go to some various merchants, or once again, scour some chests through some dungeons, and see if you can't find an interesting feather that will add a little bit of pizzazz to your bow. So yeah, once again, we're left with our enchant opportunities, and let's see what happens. Dangerous Crimson Fenrir's Killer Bow. Not bad. Not bad. But we can definitely do better. I would say make a ton of Platinum Bows just for the sake of burning through them. They don't really need any specific enchants. If you want to up your odds, use the Red Eyes Purging Leather and maybe some Fire Spirit Logs. But otherwise, just mass produce some Platinum Bows. Take, take half the stress off your hands. For the killer bow, get some dangerous thief boss steel ingots and get some red eyes purging fangs and get some basic feathers. That's going to probably give you your best opportunity for red eyes purging dangerous thief boss killer bow. Alright everybody, now onto the skills we're going to utilize for the bow build. Start yourself off with a rod tool. And go on over to combat now, get a weapon polishing, as it does apply to bows. This can be useful for maximizing the damage on your magnum shot. Next, we're going to follow up by maxing out Greater Archer. We're going to get it to 5. We need one skill point left over. We're going to max out Battle Him. One in Jump Shot. That's the leftover. We'll get Storm Arrow for helping to deal with mobs, as well as its slowing effect and debuff. Forster to maximize our damage with the jump shot. Forster 2 to maximize our damage with the jump shot. And Bullseye. Well, you guessed it. Maximize our damage. <laughs> and lastly, we'll get Magnum Shot. For that bad boy. Go under magic. We'll get 3 into heals. And then Magic Quiver is going to get maxed out to preserve some of our ammo. It will also apply the toxic or fire or poison, whatever your arrows are. As long as they're inventoried, it will apply their effect to the enemy you're hitting. Back to basics, I just wanted to make sure we got the important skills. For, this is where it kind of comes up to you. I'm going to get rabid jump to level 2. And I'm going to get double jump to level 1. You can go ninjutsu for increased iframes during a rajdol, or maybe acrobat, so you get iframes on a jump. We're going to use jump shot a lot, so I'm going to go for this. We're going to get skilled fighter up to three, so that we can unlock endurance. And we're going to use the rest of our points and endurance. 
that will allow us to have a little more air time during our jump shot. So this whole build comes down to utilizing the jump shot for maximizing our damage over time with toxic arrows against the crimson dragons. If you're dealing with mobs, storm arrow is a great option. And yeah, all in all, make sure you hit your headshots and I think it's gonna be a pretty good build. Here's the build for you guys. This is what we were able to make with our setup. Once again, Iron Armor, Red Eyes Purging, Dangerous Thief Boss. Kill the Executioner for Red Eyes Purging. The Dangerous Enchant comes from a Crocodile, and Thief Boss Enchant comes from a level 90 or higher Kevin. For the Ranger Cap, you can find some pretty nifty feathers on some different merchants. Good luck with the wings. The Bone Dragon Shield you can get on a level 7 island fighting a Bone Dragon. Toxic arrows, again, we just bought a stack from the merchants. And yeah, not too shabby. It's time to slay a dragon. Max out the sharpened bow. Can we land the shot? Yep, what you get? Well, he got me beat. <laughs> We got this, right? Right? Where you at? Chilling behind a rock? You think that'll save you? It won't. Oh my god! 800k to the face! Yeah, I'd say a bow build is viable. <laughs> I'd say it certainly is viable. if you aren't one-shotting dragons yet, well, the jump shot with some toxic arrows still offers a lot of damage. Pair that with a stamina potion, you might be up there forever. That hurt, bud. Uh, y'all broke your big ribs. Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Money. As you can see, those headshots can do a good bit of damage. Woo! Bruh, you need to land right now. confused. What do you mean I don't have any arrows equipped? Yeah, as you can see, Toxin, paired with a lot of good headshots, can still do some solid damage to a dragon. Uh, still definitely the best way I've seen to go about farming dragons. Using a bow build, toxic arrows, it'll do wonders. Trust me. Or trust him. He wouldn't lie. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope that was useful for understanding some of the options with a bow build. 
Another way I really like to set it up is using a sword and board with the bow. So you can deviate some skill points to optimizing some shield stuff. So if you're in a group and you still want to use the bow with toxic arrows to clear out mobs, but you also need to defend yourself from Anubis or, I don't know, a deadly boss, that's a good opportunity. Other than that, guys, I will be coming out with a video on a spear build that you can utilize soon, and stay on the lookout for the June updates. I have a surprise coming as well. It should be quite entertaining. Thanks for the support, everybody. It's been great. I'm enjoying the content that Craftopia is releasing for all of us, and I love hanging out with you guys and talking shop Craftopia and joining the streams and all the jazz in between. So thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for tuning in, being here with me on this experience of Craftopia. Good luck, enjoy the ride, and I'll catch y'all at some point. Peace out, chill.